Second Lieutenant Vanessa James, 26, Air Force Special Forces. All I have to say is, I don't want to die out here. And that is a scene uh, from Stargate Universe, which is already a hit officially. And we are joined by Julia Benson. You just saw her there. She plays the role of Second Lieutenant Vanessa James. How are you, Julia? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Congratulations on this role. I mean, landing a role in a franchise like Stargate is such a great thing for an actor. Uh, tell us what it was like for you when you found out you got the part. Uh... Wow. Exciting day? It was a very exciting day. Um, I had gone in and read for a couple different roles, and uh, when I read Vanessa James, you know, all we had was a page because they were keeping everything very under wraps. And I just, it was one of those moments where I was like, I just have to play this role. Um, and then I found out I was pinned and on hold and all that. And uh, yeah, my agent and I lost it. We screamed. We really? were together. Yeah, I was in his office when we got the call. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah, it was really exciting. And you've done very well for yourself because not only do you have this role yes. in Stargate Universe, but you also were a dancer at the end of the line in Blonde and Blonder. <laughs> yes. That was one of the more riveting roles I've played. I was really proud of my work in that. And uh, yeah, come a long oh. way. Now, beyond that, of course, Patrick, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> being on a sci-fi show now, I mean, everybody knows this about science fiction, that the fans, they love their mm -hmm. sci-fi. The fans mm -hmm. of the whole Stargate uh, franchise uh, were so waiting for Universe to start. What was it like for you when you knew that it was premiering? Was there a lot of pressure for the ratings and that sort of thing? You know, the great thing about how we shot this season is um, we had most of the episodes in the can when we started airing. You know, we were still had the last three or four. Um, but, but so all the work was, not all the work, a lot of the work was already done, right. right? So we lived in this bubble all season, just focusing on the work, focusing on the characters, focusing on that world, and not really getting caught up in, in everything else. Um, and, you know, of course, we were all aware of the fan base. That's, yeah. It's a pretty exciting thing to step into. Are as you an ready actor. for the sci fi world? Are you ready I'm to go to the conventions? Definitely and... ready for it. Your like, life is going to change. Well, we'll see, right? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things that's all in theory, right? And we'll, I'm, I'm really but excited for the conventions. Ratings are not theory. And yeah. Stargate Universe has done extremely well. Yes. It's broken some records as far as a few things go uh, with the ratings. And that must be super exciting for all of you guys. It's incredibly exciting right. as an actor. Right. Yes. I mean, right. just the Stargate right. franchise is yeah. so, yeah. so successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't ever get that as an actor to I walk in and have really instant fans. Now, Julie, I have to interject because they are showing the tank top scene. They are showing the scene <laughs> that almost shut down the internet. And um, I can relate because guys can be weird when it comes to certain parts of the female anatomy. And that did cause quite a sensation. And I'm sure you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I definitely wasn't ready for, you know, what happened after that episode of Darkness aired. Um, but some awesome things have come out of it. I started a blog. And uh, again, going back to how cool the fans have been, it's really amazing to have an instant interaction yeah. with them. And people are so supportive. <laughs> Supportive and and they're just they just love the show yeah, and yeah. they love everything that is Stargate so they just want to know everything so it's you know it's everything awesome. they want to know <laughs> everything <laughs> I, yes this is so good I chose to ignore my clan meeting on World of Warcraft the Flavin <laughs> and we get letters there you go um, now you guys had a lot of fun because I was reading your blog uh, working together and yeah. you know everybody talks about oh we're just like a family on set yeah. we're all good friends but you guys sound like you really had a good time you know in all honesty it's been the best part of the whole show and it goes beyond the cast it's the crew is phenomenal and uh, you know, it comes from top down. That's the producers and the creators. That's the atmosphere they set on stage. You know, now, when you get involved with a show such as sci-fi, you yeah. know, you have to. It's uh, it's kind of. I've heard that it's similar to when you do a haunted house uh, movie type of thing, where you're in an environment. You have to act with things that aren't there. Do you find that difficult as an actor, or is it just one of those things where you just find it incredibly fun? I find it freeing. I find it fun. Um, I come from theater, so a lot of work in theater is imagination and, and really making everything real for yourselves. Yeah. And as actors, we have to do that in auditions, right? So that's a skill that becomes 
very honed for you. Um, they're also so great, the directors, again, and the producers, with being very clear with us of what it is we are seeing walking us through it in the moment. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I find it fun. Now, I'm realizing we haven't even talked about the show itself yeah. and uh, how it's different, because it is really different from Stargate and SG-1 and, uh, and uh, Atlantis. Yeah. Uh, tell us about Universe, where it takes place, and uh, why it's set apart a little bit from the other shows. Well, it's, it is completely different. Um, the main thing is it's very character driven. So, and that's a huge focus. It's a lot grittier. It's a lot darker. It's sexy. It is sexy. Uh, and, nice. uh, you know, it's still an adventure series. We still will be encountering aliens. It definitely has all the elements that a great sci fi show needs, but uh, it's opened up to a broader audience mm -hmm. so that there are. You know, love stories. Now, like are you triangles. guys stuck on a ship? Is we that... are stuck on an ancient ship called Destiny, mm -hmm. the Destiny. So we cannot get home. So the show week to week is about our day to day survival with each other, and uh, and then you know trying to get home. And how about you, your character? What is she like? My character kicks ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> she is, uh, you know, she's military, obviously, so she's very tough. She's very strong. Um, she's very disciplined, uh, but again, a great thing is the writers, um, the creators, have really worked on flushing out the characters, mm -hmm. so she definitely is not without her vulnerabilities, and I really get to explore that as the season goes on. And uh, she's also really fun. Like, sh you know, I mean, obviously we're in a very difficult situation, but she's not without a sense of humor, a yeah. sense of play. She's she's chippy. She can play with the boys. Very nice. cool. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys don't get home too soon so you can have that yes. huge Let's run that, right? to make it happen. It's yeah. like Gilligan's Island in outer space. There we go. <laughs> That's yeah, right. That's exactly what they should have exactly said. It's like Gilligan's Island like, in outer space. Why is he not one of the writers? I don't know. Exactly. Understand. The producer will be thrilled. Yeah, Tony Benson like, pitches the show. That's right. In this scene, <laughs> you're trying to get the flux capacitor to work by mixing coconuts in outer space. <laughs> go with it. That's next season. <laughs> yeah. And Julia, we also have to say congratulations because your name's last. Uh, your last yes. name has changed since the last time uh, we saw you because you got married. Yes. Look at the did. size of this rock. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank Julia. You. And congrats to you and all the cast on all the success for Stargate Universe. You can tune in to check it out. And uh, after the break, you're going to have to be prepared for cuteness. And I'm not talking about him because there's uh, <laughs> some very cute pets up for adoption from the SPCA. And we're going to be telling you all sorts of advice on how you can keep your pets safe on Halloween. We'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Tiny little dogs! <laughs> Thank you.